Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install and root your, or sorry, root and install TWRP on your LG G3, uh, specifically only the D855 model, which is kind of like the European or even the Asian models. So I'm not sure if, uh, to check, you can always go to your settings and then go over to general and then scroll down to about phone and then select the software information and oops no not software hardware info and you can see your model number up here so make sure it says D855 uh, and you can also check if you take off the back uh, cover mine has it printed on on the bottom half so anyway all you need to do is enable uh, USB debugging which can also be achieved by going back into that settings menu and going back one and going to software info and then tapping on the build number seven times and then hitting back back until the uh, general screen and selecting developer options scrolling down and uh, checking USB debugging and now we shall begin we need a couple of things that uh, are to be downloaded so this uh, zip or package you could say so here this uh, this contains TWRP and root so this will do all in one sort of thing which is actually quite great so these are all the instructions on PTP it doesn't really matter uh, FT no F what is it called T F T not FTP MTP all right, I'm thinking about the wrong thing MTP uh, protocol works as well so all you need to do is download this so we just scroll all the way down and oh yeah when you get when it starts doing this make sure you um accept the dialogue here about the USB debugging and so scroll all the way no not too far. Uh, I've lost the link. Uh, it's up here actually. So we have our download links at the top. I just chose the mega link because it's the quickest here. And so once that's all downloaded, you'll need one more thing, which is the LG uh, Windows drivers. So you need those drivers to communicate with your phone and your computer. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well. So you need to download a total of two things. So once you have downloaded those two, I've just put them on the desktop. You just want to run this and install the drivers pretty straightforward just hit next 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 and then we have our zip file here which will root and install recovery on there so what you want to do is extract the files here so inside it has a little folder so it's just going to be over there all right that was quick so I'm just going to open up the folder and what you need to do is run this one the one click root recovery dot bat so I'm going to run that and just hit run and now it says we are starting the ADB server, server, and we are pushing files to our phone. So I'm just gonna kind of allow that to zoom in, and I can hit up hit the lights. So this is just pushing pushing stuff to our phone, and won't take too long. It's only a few uh, things here. So now it's going to restart our phone just to like make sure it's connected properly, I assume. And it will look for our phone connected to LG's own serial ports, which is required for a download mode. So it does actually, uh, so that's when it actually roots your phone. So we'll just give this a uh, few seconds to do its do. And this is actually quite automated. So all you need to do is uh, keep an eye out for any problems and just leave your phone and computer plugged in, or your phone plugged into your computer and you just wait pretty much so I guess the rest will just be a sitting and waiting game so yeah just enjoy this uh, fast forwarded clip so I find that uh, when it looks for the LG serial report this is when it takes uh, a little bit longer than usual I thought there was something wrong but it does actually find it just as I speak so now it's going to reboot back into download mode and it's just waiting for the phone and now we're going to get into a download mode that looks like you're updating the firmware but it's not Really, it's just it's either rooting it or uh, flashing it. So oh, this is the install script, of course. So that's pretty much it. So I I assume it's actually gonna. I don't know how it does this. This is quite amazing. So I'm still trying to grasp uh, what's going on here. Anyway, so this doesn't take too long. It looks like it's working at the moment here. So root failed. Alright, that's because I'm actually. Hold on. So I think that's because I'm actually rooted before. So
So I'll just have to wait for the recovery to flash. So this should do it all in one, is all that. So now we have done the rooting script, as you can see here. It tells us to press Control C, which breaks the command uh, window, or com prompt, like, running. And then we want to hit N, and hit Enter. So this is when uh, it tries to reboot our phone into TWRP after it's booted back into Windows. So it's going to say it's going to be found and then not found. So kind of found and lost and then re reboots like this. And this is the kind of like the last reboot until it reboots back into the recovery, uh, which is newly flashed with TWRP on... What's it now? I don't even remember the version number. It's quite high, 8. Something to do with 8. So yeah, it will be on pretty much the latest TWRP with a different splash screen, which looks quite nice. So right now it's going to let your phone boot up all the way and then reboot it back into the recovery mode uh, by kind of instantly. So we'll just wait for this to um, do the do. And hopefully we do see it uh, reboot back into the recovery mode, which will should happen in a few moments. So when our device gets detected, all right. So you actually may need to, like, um, yeah, you may need to, like, unlock your phone for it to work. So now it, you can see it actually closed the uh, command window, and now we can actually focus on our beautiful device. Now that has been rooted and has TWRP hashed on it. So this is when you can, um, lost for words now. All right. So that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And that was easy, so it really wasn't, didn't really need a video, but it was just a kind of representation of what it should look like when you do it yourself. So this is for, again, the D855 model. Uh, there are other root methods for it, um, for others, but they didn't really work for me, so I just, you know, chose this one and it worked fine. So, probably going to show you how to install um, Exposed on Lollipop now, uh, well, in the next video. So, that should be uploaded after this one. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.